the 520 metres of race number one. Next Thursday here we've got heats of the Group 1 Brisbane Cup. And uh, on the night of the final, which is a fortnight from tonight, there'll be 12 races, not the normal 10. There'll be 12 races, a couple of feature finals out of heats uh, run at the midweek. So that'll be good. OK, green light for the first. Ready and racing. Flying out there was Chant in the green rug and speeds away. Leads four lengths at the first turn from Supervision, followed there by OK Yetta, who got to third. And the others are basically too far out of it. Sky Tycoon is fourth and All You Can is fifth. And then Nave and Senor's Mistress and T... Uh, T-Rex Fox is the last one. Coming off the back and Chant out by six. Supervision in second placing. Four lengths to OK Yetta, but it's all Chant clear up the home straight. And Chant wins it by two lengths at the wire. Supervision second. Uh, now OK Yetta third. All you can, I'd say, Bob and get the fourth placing just in front of Nave. And then Senor's Mistress, T-Rex Fox and Sky Tycoon last in about 30 and three. Chant for Tony Brett. Straight to the front and improved its position. 780 and 280. 7 Supervision, 240. 8 OK, yet a 170. And I rather thought that 2 would probably get 4th all you can, although that's a photo. 678 in 30 and 31. Yeah, 2 does grab 4th. That's all you can. 6782. 6782 on the opener. 30 and 31 the time. Harness there, so Fred can have a cup of tea. Put his put his feet up. Okay. Forward they come for race two. Dare to tell number one three dollars and twenty cents is the uh, Tats bet favourite for N Southie. Green light is on. Here we go. Brisbane, race two off. Dare to tell out nicely. Goes to the early lead to see you coming up to join it, followed by Gateway Tornado and Zephonic Boom is just behind those. Swinging out of the straight and Dare to tell takes the lead clearly now. Got away by three. Vino is second. Zephonic Boom is third along the rail. They're clear of to see you and Galway Tornado. Well back is the storm to victory in company with Fine Calibre and Shanzi the last one. On the turn, Dare to tell in front. Zephonic Boom's after it. Grab the lead. Zephonic Boom. Strong win. Comes away. Zephonic Boom has beaten Dare to tell. Third then was Vino and fourth in Storm to Victory. So it's 2-1-7 out. Eight. The wing nuts have got there. The middle box has never came into play. Galway Tornado, Fine Calibre, 2CU and Shanzi last of all. Well, 2CU did come into play at one stage, but not at the finish. 30 and 16 is the race winning time. 30 and 16. 2 one, seven, eight. Two, one seven, and 8 Zephonic Boom, racing home strongly to victory for Marilyn Johnson and owner Peter Kerr by Fear Zephonic out of Cells Honey. Dead to Tell second, Cosmic Rumble, Georgia Ann and South won two of her past three starts, Cindy Special, and she's $2.30. Jackpot um, Quadrilla on Albion Park tonight, races five, six, seven, eight. Pool starts off with a jackpot amount of uh, just over 8,000, about 8,700, I think it is. That's race five through to eight. OK, green light. Racing. Cindy Special missed it. Legend Tycoon Rumble Comet out fast. And there's Vanaheim burning down the outside. Willie B. Tops has tailed right off into the first turn. And Vanaheim by a length on Rumble Comet and Cindy Special a length away third. They're clear then of Legend Tycoon Railroad Rocket or Rara Marie. Tricky Pippa coming off the back straight and booting away is Rumble Comet. Opened up a break of about three on Cindy Special and Vanaheim. Rumble Comet doing well up the home straights. Too good. Rumble Comet easily. Legend and Tycoon grabs second, Cindy Special third, Vanaheim wound up fourth, then came Railroad Rocket, Tricky Pippa, Arara Marie, and Willie B. Tops was tailed off all the way in about 30 and 2. Rumble Comet number four, dashing clear mid race, 6, 10, and $2. Two Legend Tycoon, $2. Three Cindy Special, $1.30. Seven Vanaheim should wind up fourth, I would think. Yes, it now confirmed. Four two three seven. Four two three and seven. Four two three seven in thirty and eighteen. Ellis, reminding everybody the heats of the Brisbane Cup are on this coming Thursday night. Um, so it used to be in December, but it's come forward by a week, so don't miss that trainers. So I heard it mentioned somewhere 
that it was a, a fortnight. The heats are definitely this coming Thursday. Noms due on Monday morning for the Brisbane Cup Group 1. Green light here. Off. Not held, missed it a bit. Short, Wally out fast, headed off by going fast. Rose of Gallo in the early speed tonight. And out of the straight, Rose of Gallo got away by two lengths. Senor Zorro comes to second. Three away was not held. Five then to Ellie's Choice, followed by Mr. Contender. And then short, Wally, and last of all is Boomer's Party. They're coming off the back. And Rose of Gallo rod right on the bunny by three. Not held, runs on resolutely. Rose of Gallo in front. Not held to the inside, flashing through. Grab the lead, too good. Great win. Not held, beat Rose of Gallo. Third Senor Zorro and fourth in then was Ellie's Choice. They were followed by Short Wally, Mr. Contender. Last of all, Boomer's Party and the winner has busted 30 seconds, 29 and 9 something. Nice strong win. We know he can do that. Not held. And he's given Rose of Gallo, who's a pretty smart commodity when she's on the bunny. Given her about five lengths start down the back but gunned her down. To the winner. Not held. In 29.90. 29 and 90. So not held to go into the Brisbane Cup heats. You'd imagine next uh, Thursday night. An earlier start by about half an hour than normal. First around about 2.27 if I recall correctly. So keep that in mind trainers. Earlier kindling. Why it's starting earlier I don't know. But anyway, uh, earlier start and earlier finish for Ipswich Twilight's tomorrow by about a half an hour from the norm. Capalabar on tab on Saturday and back to Ipswich for a TAB card with the first at 7.51 on Saturday night. OK, green light here. Eight the fave, Lady Jasmine. She came out only fairly and Princess T won the start, tackled by Black Fatali and Yogi Blue. Lady Jasmine, she's extremely wide going out of the straight. She's uh, back about fifth. Going into the back and Black Fatali by one length. Yogi Blue coming after it. Five lengths away. Hope's Fantasy Princess T and then Lady Jasmine trying to come forward from Don't Blink Infant Sorrow. Mr Bonfire the last one. Homeward bound. Yogi Blue went to Black Fatali. Yogi Blue took the lead. Ladies Hope's Fantasy but Yogi Blue from Hope's Fantasy and Black Fatali. Don't Blink fourth. Lady Jasmine. She never really got into the fray from her wide draw and she'd wind up fifth. Then Princess T, followed by Mr Bonfire and Infant Sorrow about last in approximately 30 and 10. That's the dog that won the consolation of the Ipswich Cup last uh, Saturday night, Yogi Blue. And one would imagine Peter O'Reilly would have the dog aimed for the Brisbane Cup each next week. Why wouldn't you with a, a winner in 30 and 14? He's been too good. 5, 7, 2, 6. Number 4, he's $2.80. Just ahead of number one, Ben's House, who's at $2.90. For Glenda Dart, who had a winning treble here at the meeting last Monday night. OK, green light is on at the 600 metres mark. Second leg of the quaddy, Banakan at 260, blue rug, set. Racing begins midfield. Banakan out fast. Ben's house, Nardine, and lay down Teddy. And Banakan is fourth. Then came Wayne Boy, Gangnam Stride, Woobra Surf, and Never Tell is the last one. Out of the straight they go. Dashing clear. Ben's house by about four lengths. Lay down Teddy is second. One and a half. Banakan a bit flat footed at this stage of the race. Being passed by Gangnam Stride and Wayne Boy. Further astern, Nardine, Woobra Surf, and Never Tell. They're on the bend for home. And Ben's house is a mile in front. Doing it stylishly, a mob of them there for the miners, but Ben's house wins it easily. Getting up for second, Wayne Boy. Third, lay down Teddy. Fourth in, then was Banakan. They were followed by Nardine, Never Tell, Gangnam Stride, Woobra Surf. One Ben's house, 280 and 120. Eight, Wayne Boy, 170. Two, lay down Teddy at 460. To your fast early sectional, 999 which obviously can't be attributed to the new boxes because they're the old boxes. 9.99, fast early sectional. Rare to see the uh, 10 seconds broken in the early part of a six. Seven star liners, the new Tats bet favourite here at 3.40 for Gary Peterson, one Moss Gambo, Glenda Dart, 3.70, and number eight, Eliezer, Kieran Butler, 3.90 of the top three in the betting. Green light at the 7.10 metre mark. Ready and away. Very even line out. Uh, missed opportunities going through now. Got cut out now and spearing up was Moss Gambo takes the lead. From Starliner, Duchess Dora, Betty's memory and then came Eliezer who's very, very wide. 
Yurawa Katarina back in the second half of the field with Bar Bling and Miss Opportunity last of all. Going out of the home straight, the Lamplighter is Moss Gambo by three. Starliner in hot pursuit. Four lengths then to Duchess Dora. Couple away, Yurawa Katarina, and then came Betty's Memory. Well back, Eleazar and Bar Bling is one of the last that come to the turn. The leader is Moss Gambo. Starliner trying ever so hard round the outside. Moss Gambo and Starliner getting through. Yurawa Katarina, the boil over. Yurawa Katarina raced through and came away to beat Starliner. Duchess Dora third, Moss Gambo weakened to fourth. Behind these then, Barbling in company there with, further back was Betty's Memory. Eliezer was one of the last home. And have a look at this, will you? Thank you very much. And a leg of the quaddy and everything else. $41.70 for number two, Yaroa Katarina. The rank outsider of the field. Number two, Yaroa Katarina. It's 2714, 2714, Starliner second. One Moss Gambo's held on for third, just in front of four Duchess Dora. 2714. 2714. Just goes to show somewhere along the line when these jackpot quadrillas are on. It is. I wonder if Jason Thompson will come here to Brizzy with a Black Magic Opal or if he'll go to Ballarat for the Ballarat Cup heats next Wednesday night. He may do neither, but um, wonderful chaser, isn't he? Almost faultless at the start, Black Magic Opal. He's the star at the moment on the scene. Righto, green light. Ready here. Off. Batters Tusi missed it. Fast out, zipping hoof, tackled by Cakes and Pies, and also Hawko's Mistake charging into the first turn, and zipping hoof takes the lead. Got away by a length and a half on Hawko's Mistake. In his plane jet, railed through to third, just got onto the heels of the second dog there, struck trouble, then Spirited Flame and Cakes and Pies. Well back ifs and butts, Battis Tuzi and Bellagio lad the last one. It's all zipping hoof on the bend for home by three. Hawko's Mistake holds down second, but zipping hoof. Zipping hoof easily. Getting up for second, Spirited Flame third, either Hawko's Mistake, Mistake or cakes and pies. That's a closey. Then came Bellagio Lad in his plane jet. Ifs and buts and one of the last home batters too. He might have beat one or two to the wire, but it was among the cap catchers after a moderate beginning. Two zipping her for Shane Ellis. 4.30 and 1.30. It's a double to the kennel tonight. He won earlier on with not held. Both of them from box two. The numbers are 2754, 2754, and Zipping Herf. Well, Battis Tuzi was the favourite way in the quad. He was going to pay 4,100. Zipping Herf will pay a lot more than that, I would suggest. 2754, the numbers to pay. 5,300, in fact, is the uh, quaddy uh, return with a bit of uh, Japelli. Is the uh, second pick at $4.70 for the Rolex men. Peter Roichi. And four spirits away at five dollars eighty. Number eight, number nine, rather. Harry Tycoon at uh, seven ten. Ready to go. Away they go now. And Giappelli got out well. Harry Tycoon's down the outside, putting itself into the picture. And Thunder Rocks went up into third placing as they go out of the straight, where Giappelli takes the lead by about a length on Spirits Away. And they're followed by Space Wave. Thunder Rocks coming forward. Well back now is Harry Tycoon as they work off the back section. Further astern then was Phantom Jewels. Got a long way back with Kelly Charm and Attaboy Ted coming around the corner for home. And the front runner here is Spirits Away, doing it well. And Spirits Away has taken the prize from Space Wave late on the scene. Phantom Jewels got up for third, Giappelli fourth, and then came Thunder Rocks, followed by Attaboy Ted, one of the last time, Harry Tycoon in company with Kelly Chum. Spirits away, number four for Paul Haig from Southbrook, up on the Darling Downs near Toowoomba. It's paid 460 and 240. Number two, Space Wave, laid on the scene second at $3, and three Phantom Jewels third at $1.70. Fourth in was the one. That was Giappelli. 4-2-3-1. Spirits of lead need to win this pretty impressively to be a chance in the group one, wouldn't he, Late Angel Lee? But he's an exciting young dog. No two ways about that. Number one, $1.70. Barry Hanley, the owner. Eight, Bill's Fantasy, 350 second pick, and then two, Leonard at 650. Green light for a good little fifth grade to wind up the night. They're off. Well, Late Angel Lee's made a liar of me by jumping out straight to the lead. Down the outside is Bally Swift, and round the outside of that one goes Bill's Fantasy, but Late Angel Lee charges into the first turn and got away by a couple on Bill's Fantasy and Bally Swift, followed there by Big Dak, and then Tyler Rose High and Martinez. A long way back then came Leonard, and tailored up is the last one. Late Angel Lee exploded away on the turn, ten lengths in front of Bill's Fantasy, Bally Swift, and Late Angel Lee. Donkey licks them. Second went to Bally Swift, third 
third, Big Dak, I'd say, in front of Bill's Fantasy. Then came Tyler Rose High. And back behind them, Martinez, Leonard, and... Um, that was about the ball game. Tallered up ahead of a couple of those. And that dog's run the best of the night, down to about 29 and 7, a scorching run. Well, he didn't. He didn't give them a start and round them up. He jumped straight to the front and waltzed away to win easily. 29.67. 29.67 is the time by Late Angelie. Straight into the Brisbane Cup heats next week without a shadow of a doubt. One, seven, three and eight are confirmed. One, seven, three and eight. With Late Angel Lee by Late Show Lee won the Gold Coast Cup.